Hey guys, Brandon here for RC Flight School. Today I have the MSR by Blade. This is their micro single rotor helicopter. Um, earlier I did unbox the 120 SR, which is like the big brother of this guy. This one's, I guess, a little more suited for indoor flying if you want to attempt it. Otherwise, it's just a smaller, lighter version, a little less prone to braking when you don't have as much weight and power. So just one more uh, awesome little helicopter from Blade. Let's open her up and take a look. We did pick this up from our hobby town in Germantown. This is a bind and fly model. You can see there's no radio in the box. We have the DX6i behind me. We're going to link it to that. But they do offer a ready to fly model if you don't have a radio. So there's what you get in the box. The really nice bonus feature you get when you buy these guys is this charger. This is a four port charger, so you can charge four batteries at a time. And it's either portable, powered by, I think it's four D or C size batteries, or they give you in the box the optional AC wall adapter, so you can plug it in your wall at home. Awesome charger, this is like a $45 accessory if you get it separately. A nice feature. They also give you two batteries, two flight batteries right away. These little guys, these are just the 120 milliamp single cell lipos. Real cheap, you can pick them up for just a few bucks. If you get all four, you can pretty much fly all day because you can just keep them charging on this thing and keep cycling them. Again, nice feature they include with this, with this helicopter. A small parts package, so you got a spare fly bar, spare tail rotor, which is nice. Uh, a few extra little parts, a linkage, and the screwdriver to take the whole thing apart. Let's get the helicopter out of here. So this is the smallest single rotor helicopter that they sell. Look at this little guy. Tiny little tail rotor, little fly bar. Main blades are on a pivot mount, not folding style, but they do pivot. And um, really, that's, there's not much to it. The battery slides in, locks in place. They make it impossible to get the center gravity wrong by doing that style. You slide it in, it locks in, you know it's always in the right spot. Uh, the one thing that I'd say Blade advertises the most out of these little guys, and it is true, I've flown these, they're extremely durable. Because it's so small and so light, the blades are flexible. You see, I can just bend them, no problem. Same with the fly bar, very flexible. You can flex it so when you hit the wall, instead of cracking a blade, it just kind of folds over. Landing gear is the same thing, extremely flexible. Hit the ground real hard, it just kind of flattens out. You don't break your landing gear. Tail rotor has some flex, tail fin has some flex, otherwise the boom is carbon fiber. The main shaft is carbon fiber, so you have no worries about bending a main shaft and getting bad, bad vibrations. Awesome, awesome little helicopter. Not necessarily a beginner helicopter, these are really, really quick, but because of the durability, you can start out on these if you haven't flown anything else before. They're fairly stable, they'll take off and kind of hover by themselves, but you give it full stick and the thing is going to cruise probably about 20 miles an hour or more, really, really quick. Uh, for all you advanced flyers out there, they do have an optional swash plate setting. You can change the links to the farther out balls on the swash plate. That will give you more throw on your swash. So it gives you a little more pitch and roll to play around with. Um, I've had a lot of fun on this one. I've been flying them for years. I do kind of recommend having a computer radio. It allows you to dial in a little expo, a little dual rates if you must. But I do know that the stock radio, if you buy the ready to fly version, does have dual rates built in. So again, a nice little feature for all you beginners out there. So that's the 120 SR. Parts are cheap. Again, if you're looking to buy this as your first helicopter and you have any questions, just comment below. Get all your questions answered there. If you own this thing and if you had a few modifications or recommendations, post up. Give us your feedback. We'd like to hear what you have to say. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and we'll see you soon.